So my father wants me to get a haircut, and in my opinion, my hair looks fine. It doesn't need a cut, it doesn't need to be trimmed or pruned in any way. He just, see, he looked at me. Let me tell you the whole story. He looked at me right when I got to his job. First off, when I got to his job um, back from school, um, he was, oh, my bad, he was low. Ruined the whole video right there. Freaking low battery. It's my own damn fault for leaving the phone on all night, but hey, I'm just going to blame it on the battery because in America we do that. All right, it's Samsung's fault that the battery just almost died in the middle of a video that I was making and am making because I just restored the power, so now the battery isn't going to die, but I decide to rant about this for no apparent reason whatsoever because I'm random and no one understands me and blah blah blah. All right, you know, that's not entirely true. Some people kind of understand me and others just sort of put up with me and others don't really care. So, freaking, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, he wanted me to get a haircut. Because he thinks it looks wild. He thinks it looks unkept. Sort of deranged. Wait, hang on. I could be like a, a fake unicorn right now and like, just make a horn. Like that. Yeah, 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 that works. Yeah, okay. Hang on, I'm gonna crack my neck, it might disturb some of you. No sound effects. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. <sighs> oh. It was a bit rough on my neck just now. <sighs> Someone's gonna make a sex joke out of that. I know it. D damn it, you two. Why do you always do that? Whatever. Okay, so. He was late coming down. He looks at me. He critiques me. He buys me a sandwich, which was very nice of him, by the way. And then he says my hair... Looks unkept and wild and out of control. Sort of weird. But I'll tell you all the real reason as to why I don't give a shit and I actually like my hairstyle this way. And I'm going to show you by moving the camera and filming right now. Let's do this! I thought I heard like a roach or something, but. Then I remembered roaches don't make sound. Alright, let's do this. Do I not look like Heath Ledger from The Dark Knight? Do I? Do, do I not look utterly insane like this? Like, 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 I mean, Heath Ledger? Yeah? You thought I looked like Heath Ledger from The Dark Knight. Admit it. You thought <laughs> that I looked utterly crazy, utterly insane, utterly Heath Ledgery, and that is the point. I want to walk out on the street with this cheap shirt that a teacher gave me at school because she was tired of seeing me wearing black, so she gave me this, this sort of lavender thingy. And then my trench coat, which actually cost $200, and I walk out onto the streets, and people are like, he looks crazy, but I respect him. So in less exciting news, a woman's vagina was spotted in Central Park the other day. People saw it in its glory, I guess, and they didn't care. They just kept on mocking because it's New York City. Stuff like that happens all the time. Just some woman with a vagina, you know, just openly exposed because that's what happens here for some strange reason. I don't know why, but it does. So deal with it, you know? You all thought, you all thought you were getting something exciting when I was like, a oh, woman's vagina! And I don't want to shout that too loudly because my father is in the kitchen and he'll be like, Ian, we live in an apartment building and the little old lady heard you. And I'm like, I don't care. And then she's like, damn it, Ian, you, you horrible boy. Who, no, he doesn't say that. I just lied. I should be ashamed of myself. So basically, you all thought 
that it was going to be boring at first, but then you saw me saying, oh, woman's vagina, and then you freaking, <gasps> because, you know, America loves that kind of thing. So I hope you noticed what I did there. I took something boring, and then, no, I made it sound boring first, and then I made it sound <gasps> exciting, but then I made it sound kind of perverted, and then I made it sound unexciting. So... It's kind of interesting how I just did that. It's kind of cool. And speaking of cool things, I want to point something out to you all. There is a new Justice League movie coming out from DC Comics. Well, I was going to add applause there, um, but I did not because it looks terrible. No one wants to see this. Why? And uh, Freaking Ben Affleck and the battery keeps dying. Hang on. All right. Barry's back now, and, and, uh, why? Just, just, why? Screw you! Why? I don't understand. I feel really sorry for you. You had a good thing going, Christian Bale. You had a good thing going. And he messed up. You see him? He's hanging by a thread. Literally. All because Ben Affleck's chubby... All right, I have a chubby face, too, so that would be hypocritical for me to point out his chubby face. But no, he... <sighs> you know what? Now that I'm annoyed, I'm just... take this damn Japanese pocket puzzle that I happen to have just off-camera conveni conveniently, you know? It, it just happened to be there. Oh, now my stomach's acting up, so I happen to have these Tums right here. Take two. You see, I just happen to have things conveniently off camera, right as I'm ranting to you people. And someone turned their water on upstairs, and it really annoys me. I changed my shirt to a hoodie. All right, I'm in the hood now. Well, I live in Harlem, so I'm always in the hood, but that's not important. So, DC Comics is coming out with that horrible looking movie, and I would be totally out of line if I did not mention the atrocity that was produced by Marvel in Captain America Civil War, alright? That's why I'm actually wearing red right now, not because Marvel usually is known for redness. Um, no, nah, because a certain character in Captain America Civil War had a crush, and this was scripted, she had a crush on this character that no one really pays much attention to, Hawkeye, who is married in The Avengers, and, like, in general, and... I have the character's name right here. All right, it's it's backwards because this is YouTube and Google just reverses everything and so does the camera. So that's why this is backwards. However, I will flip it frontwards so you can see it. Oh, but that only works for my angle. All right, so upside down maybe? Okay, I'll just read it to you. Scarlet Witch, all right, played by someone. She she was locked in a facility, and it's very obvious that Vision, who was created by Tony Stark, um, who freaking was trying to defeat Ultron, who he created to begin with. So he creates this other thing to defeat Ultron. And it's... It's like... And then he just acts like an asshole, but he gets away with it, because it's Robert Downey Jr. He's, he's cool. He, he, can, he can do that. Now, so Vision, who happens to have a little ad right before the actual comic book begins, he has a crush on Scarlet Witch, too. And I noticed this 
because I watched the movie so often that I noticed it. But... But... Hawkeye also rescued Scarlet Witch from the compound which Vision was keeping her in under Tony Stark's orders, and then she ran off with him. Very romantic. And... Frickin'... Um... What the hell is her name? Scarlet Witch was confronted by Scarlet Johansson. And so there are two Scarlets, but Scarlet Johansson is actually Black Widow. I, I paused there. Don't know if any of you caught that. No, she's actually Black Widow. And they... Black Widow is on Iron Man's team. And Scarlet Witch is on Captain America's team. And Hawkeye was facing Black Widow. And he used this thing where he freaking... He was, he was hitting her. He, he was, he was punching her, yeah! And then, Scarlet Witch, um, intervenes right before Scarlet Johansson. Scarlet Johansson, a.k.a. Scarlet Johansson, um, freaking, she was about to punch him, like, but then, Scarlet Witch used her, her red power, um, I don't have any... I have a lot of red in my room, actually. Yeah, she used her red power and freaking wrapped her energy around Scarlet's hand and Scarlet threw Scarlet, who is really Black Widow, across the airport. And then she's like, oh, you were pulling your punches. That is a sign that Scarlet Witch has a crush on Hawkeye. And I, I confronted this guy that I live with. Well, not really. But anyway, so I talked to a friend of mine. Yeah, and he's like, oh, well, you know, she probably thinks he's so hawk. Do you know what I mean? He's he's hawk. He's a hawk guy. This is like he's married! Damn it! Whoa! Where'd that come from? I need a new house. Stuff falling from the ceiling. That happened in the movie um also something else happened but that's not important right now i'll address it later um yeah so basically marvel creates these awesome movies great special effects awesome acting on all sides per not perfect scripts just very solid scripts excellent writing excellent acting great directing josh whedon and DC comes out with a, a really fat bat in a suit that, that for some reason wants to destroy um, a very nice guy who is known as Superman. And, and there's this convoluted thing. The storylines don't really match up that well. They, they threw in Wonder Woman. They, they, they did all this stuff. Some, some of the CGI was poor. Jesse Eisenberg, or whatever the hell his name is, he was okay, you know, I guess, and no no one saw it, no one wanted to see it, it was horrible blockbuster disaster, they managed to make enough dough to make a, a Justice League movie, apparently, but that doesn't matter, because some hoe decided to go out with Hawkeye, she hasn't done it yet, but you can bet she will. Anyway, that's my video. I'm pissed off because... Alright, oh yeah. Um, what the hell is it going to do? One second. Alright, so the title of this video was I'm deranged, question mark, question mark. Um... There might be, yeah, an exclamation point. And I want you to leave a comment um, responding to this. Am I deranged? Am I? 